Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here when you could be in many, many other places. So I was talking to Kevin today about what to film for YouTube and we came up with this idea of doing a get ready with me from like beginning to end and I thought it was so fun. So Reed and I are going on a date tonight. We're just doing a date night together because we want to. We're going to this place called City House and it's like, um, I think it's Italian and Reed went recently and they said that they had gluten-free options. So... We're doing a little fall Italian cuisine date night. So I thought it would be fun to talk about everything I'm doing like for getting ready from my skincare all the way down to what perfume and what shoes, what bag I'm bringing and just go through everything rather than just doing my makeup with you, which I thought would be kind of fun. I also want to focus this look more on like a fall vibe because that's another video that I've been asked about recently is like, let's do a fall video. And I agree, I'm in the fall mood. I'm feeling fall, I have the fall nails, which I can't really talk about yet, but I will be soon. Actually, you know what, by the time this goes up, I probably can talk about it that these are my collab with quickies <sighs> one of my six pairs of press-ons oh my god they're so freaking good um i can't believe that you are seeing it because i'm filming it before we've announced but man these are i think my favorite they're so 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 good anyways if that sounds interesting to you let's do this together i think i'm gonna take a shower and oh yeah don't forget to subscribe <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. I'm filming this on my other Canon camera, so it's a little bit, if the, if the quality's off, that's why. But um, I'm gonna take a shower. I'm not gonna wash my hair because I actually just got my hair done yesterday. Thank goodness my roots are covered. She's full redhead again. And I think for my hair tonight, I'm gonna go really simple with it and either wear it half down like I just did with like some of my bangs out, or I don't know, I might like recurl a few pieces, but I definitely don't need to wash it because she just did a full wash and dry yesterday. And then we can do some skincare together so we can talk about what kind of skincare to do before makeup all right we are out of the shower my face is damp the first thing that i always do is apply a hydrating toner to my skin especially if there's some time between when i got out of the shower and when i'm about to start my skincare i like to just bring that hydration back into the face and honestly i've been using like similar to the road essence i have the laneige cream skin milk upstairs and I've been using that to rehydrate my face instead of like more of a serum primer recently. And I've really been liking it. So I might do that again when we get upstairs. But I'm kind of simple when it comes to my skincare when I'm doing my makeup because I just want it to be hydrated and supple. So I think I talked about this recently as a, a duo that I've been using. It's the Future Wise Slug Cream and the Drunk Elephant B Goldie Drops. I mix these two together and typically I would wear SPF. It's like three o'clock, but um, our date night is at six and the sun will be down by the time I go back outside. So I actually am going to skip SPF for the remainder of the day, which I know, don't get mad at me, but I have no plans to really be outside much. And I find that when I'm doing makeup for the evening, I just like skipping my SPF just to avoid flashback and I just think it's unnecessary, but typically I would wear SPF. I just want to say that, but if I was doing my makeup closer to evening time, I'll skip it. And I just love this duo because this gives you just the slightest bit of glow to your skin without being over the top. And this is a great moisturizer that has that thick creamy feeling to it, similar to like the Dew Instant Angel, but it's again, not not quite as thick as that so it still sinks into the skin really beautifully and i have been obsessed with wearing this brighten and glow eye cream it's got a little bit of like an orangey undertone to it and it has a little bit of shimmer as well and i didn't know if the shimmer actually showed up on the skin but i looked the other day close up in a mirror and it was there not in a way that's like oh she has glitter under her eyes but just in a way that's like oh her eyes are really her under eyes are very supple and it helps sort of counteract some of the darkness under the eyes so i'm a fan i know we were talking about eye creams uh last video with the hero cosmetics eye cream i prefer this one over the hero cosmetics obviously it is more expensive but i also love this one from in beauty project very similar in consistency as well as the summer fridays eye cream those are all amazing and to me i'm kind of like what good is a drugstore eye cream if it turns your under eyes green like obviously it's not worth it <laughs> 
And I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows. I am probably going to laminate them again before I leave for LA. I'm going back this week to visit Kevin. And we're actually going to go to the Cali Ray offices, which I'm really excited about because it's in Newport Beach and I haven't been there in years. And it's just so, so pretty. And I think I'm going to vlog while I'm there. I just finished a road lip treatment in Unscented. So I am now finishing up my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla. They actually just mm, came out with a new one that is also clear i think i haven't gotten it yet so i'll let you know when i do but it's actually like sweet mint flavored instead of the vanilla so i'm really curious about that because i want to obviously know which one i like more i like the vanilla one because it's not too strong but i don't love a cakey smell i'm very much more of a like citrus scent type of person when it comes to my lip products and then last i will take a something like a hydrating spray i love this brand future wise you can get it at Target. And they only have three products. I'm really curious as to when they'll launch more. But honestly, that's all I do while I'm in the bathroom. And then when we go upstairs, I might rehydrate my face. But I like to keep it really bouncy and simple and just non-complicated, very hydrating type of feel. And then I'm going to go put on my body lotion. I'm going through the Necessaire body lotion, which I like, but it's not really enough product for me. And secondarily, I am using the prequel body lotion, which I like, but they did have an issue with it being a little bit grainy in some of the batches and mine is grainy, but I just use it anyways. And that is what we're doing for prep right now. I'm also drinking a little coffee cause I'm tired. Okay. We are moving on to hair and more getting ready for our makeup. I have been doing my first step of my brows actually down here in the bathroom. Um, I've been using the Rare Beauty new lumin, not luminizing, uh, laminating brow gel. And I've talked about this now multiple times about how much I really, really, really like this. It is so good for the laminated look and it doesn't leave them uh, like with little white balls. It definitely leaves them crunchy. If that's not you, then you won't like this. But we've talked about this, that I am a crunchy girl. I like a crunchy look. It's just for me because I don't want them to move. The thing is, I don't want them to look crunchy. That is the main difference. So I, um, I take this through my brows backwards first, and then I start to comb through and basically put it straight up. My brow lamination is almost completely gone at this point. I think it, I did it at home so it didn't last as long as like a professional one. I mean, look at those things. So I'm probably gonna do it again. Let me know in the comments if you would want to see that in a video, even though I don't know what I'm doing. So like, that's why a lot of times I do something and people are like, why didn't you film it? And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think I should be filming it and showing you it. <laughs> but maybe you just want someone to talk to and you're not gonna do your own lamination at home. So if that's the case, let me know. And we can do that together. I've already, I need to trim them again because they're already getting like so long that the hairs, when I like brush them down this way, I have to like bend them because they're a little bit too long. So that's a good sign that my grande brow is definitely working, which is awesome. But when you have this sort of style of eyebrow, you definitely do need to give them a trim if you plan on having them stuck to your head because then you can sadly and easily turn yourself into Albert Einstein. Unless that is what you're going for. If you're going for Albert, then I am here for you, here for it, and you won't catch me saying anything. So I've been doing this and then the second step is upstairs, which is the new NYX like micro brow blade pen. It's kind of like the Glossier one, but it's even and it's smaller and it just works so well. So it, I know I look crazy right now, but when I have my full face makeup on, you'll see the vibe. Then I'm gonna take the back of my spoolie and just lay this down. Slay, slay, slay. Yeah, I can definitely tell I need to relaminate them because when they are as coarse as mine are, mine are incredibly coarse and they don't move. And when I like move one little piece of it, the whole hair goes. They're not malleable at all naturally. They just take much longer to put into place. But when they are laminated and they're softer, which a brow lamination is basically just putting a perm solution in your brows to soften the hair, like a, like a relaxer. It's a lot easier to put them in place when they're soft. Also, I've been really into a giant ass earring and no necklace. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm acting like that's some absolutely crazy idea. But these are from the brand Heaven Mayhem. Heaven Mayhers. Heavy Manners. They're so pretty and they I just like the vintage style of them. They're a little heavy, but they just like give this really 
classy look to the ear. <laughs> Anyways, they, they make these in a mini as well. I have the maxi version because why not? Like, I think they just make the look so cute. Um, and then I think I'm gonna wear my hair like this. I have the new Crown Affair clip in. It's the same as their other clips. They're tortoiseshell clips, but it's this new style and it's so beautiful. It looks like a marble countertop. So anyways, this is what I'm thinking for the hair because it's like very chicy, cute, fall. Like it's back in this little clip, but also she's got the bangs out, which I never do. I never wear my bangs out with my hair back. And I just think it's classy and sexy. So while I'm doing my makeup after this, I'm going to keep this up because I cannot keep volume in my hair for anything. So I think it's like nice to just have this little guy in there and keep it upwards. Keep it upwards. Well, I guess that answers the age-old question of what order do I do my beauty in? I guess I start with skincare, obviously. Then I do my hair, then my makeup, then my outfit. Is that unusual? Hair, makeup, outfit? I don't know. Um, this is the product that I was mentioning from NYX. It is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I really don't know if this is new or not. I kind of think it is. They've been releasing a lot of brow products lately, and it is so so good it's just like the perfect amount of liquid that makes the most beautiful hair like strokes and it works on top of a laminated brow gel which is kind of hard to find usually they don't work and they just don't uh sit on the skin very well but this one does and it makes actual perfect little hair like strokes like look how teeny it is so little. I definitely need to laminate again. And I am wearing the shade Ash Brown on my brows. I mentioned how I was using the Laneige Cream Skin Sarah Peptide Toner um, as my makeup base. And I'm gonna do that today as well. Although I just, I, my skincare wasn't that long ago. This is a really, really runny, liquidy toner. And um, I just find that it brings some life back to the skin immediately. And it kind of brings a little bit of moisturization and glow without that like thick layer of a primer. If you are looking for a thinner base, it's still going to give you hydration and glow without like a creamy primer layer. Which I guess that's what we're going for today because I am going to use the... I decided now that I've decluttered, I want to make sure that I am using what I own because I kept the things that I own because I really, really like them. And uh, this was my favorite last fall. This is the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish. I liked to layer this over top of the Say Glowy Super Gel, but today... I'm gonna layer it over that. This is the thinnest lightweight foundation you'll ever try. It's not for everyone, but it's certainly for me. It still gives you a good amount of coverage with literally the thinnest layer of product. So it basically gives you a medium coverage without the feel of any makeup on. Like, look at that. It's absolutely stunning. I just love it. I do feel like you kind of have to pump it right onto your face because it's so thin. I guess you could pump it into your brush, but I really like using it with this Say brush because it's so dense that it won't sink into the brush. With a thinner product like this, and I think I'm gonna use the Tower 28 concealer, the Swipe concealer, because it's also very thin, and I like to kind of match that when it comes to concealer and foundation. And typically I would use a sponge with this product, but I don't have one on hand, so I'm gonna use a brush and see how it goes. I'm using the House Labs brush. I really, really like this concealer, but I know that a lot of people have had issues with it being dry and crepey on the under eyes. I just don't use very much. I use a very thin layer and I find that the coverage is good enough that I don't need to reapply on the under eyes. So there is with and there is without. And this is the House Labs Concealer Brush and I really like it. I was thinking about wearing the House Labs Concealer because I literally cannot stop wearing it. I love it so much. But I think because it's a thicker cream, it might not look as natural with this foundation. So we're sticking to thin and thin. And I wear shade IE in the Tower 28 Concealer. This is a new product in my collection. It is from Simi Hayes Beauty and it is the Skin Suede Melting Balm. And I'm in shade Oak 03. And I really like it. First of all, the packaging is strange as most of their stuff is, but it's so thin that it's really easy to travel with. And like, I don't know, I just like kind of like it. I haven't been a fan of really any of their products so far. I don't like their little lip treatments that are like so expensive for the tiniest 
amount of product. Their tubing mascara is okay, but I don't like a synthetic wand very much, and it is a synthetic wand. But I find that this shade on me is really, really nice for bronzing, and it just creates like a really nice warm shadow, and it's travel friendly, and it just is easy to pop on. It has a nice matte natural finish, and um, I just like it. It's like literally the first Sammy Hayes product that I have liked. So if they made a blush in this formula, I feel like I might like it too. It's just like a normal, natural, creamy powder. And that's in the shade three. I do like it. Going with the fall vibes that we are picking up today, um, this is a recommendation I got from one of you guys because I'm going to do a video where I am using your favorite products that no one talks about. I'm really excited for that because there have been some really amazing ones in there. And uh, this is one of them. It is the shade Beach Babe from the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte line. And honestly, I have so many of these. I'm shocked I didn't already own this one. This one is uh, like a muted, I mean, I feel like they all look like this. I don't know why. Maybe am I crazy for saying that? Like I feel like they all have a similar. I guess not. This is my other favorite shade from them in Sunset Strip, and I guess it is more pink. And obviously, Sun Kissed is like my number one shade from them. And those two look semi similar. So I don't remember all of the shades here, but this is Sunset Strip. This is Beach Babe, and then that is Sun Kissed, which is my favorite shade. You guys said that this would be a perfect blush for me, so who am I to not try it? And I feel like it has like a good fall vibe to it, so I am gonna put that on my hand and then use a brush to put it on because that's my favorite way to use these products. Very pretty. I don't love pinks on me generally, which is why I try and stay away from them, but this one is more like a rosy flush uh, with like brown undertones, which is perfect for me because I don't do hot pink. It just doesn't look good on me, but that is super pretty. Love it. I also love this formula. It's just such a good product and their matte formula is to die for. So thank you if you were the one who recommended that to me. I am feeling called to use the Merit highlighter, which I haven't used in a really long time. I need to find a good brush to go with it. I don't know why I haven't used it in a long time. I think it's probably because obviously I have not um, had time to use everything that I own and declutter it, but I do think this needs kind of a more dense brush. Again, I prefer to use this on the back of my hand because it is so emollient that if you put it on top of your makeup, it'll mess it up, personally, is what I think. So I prefer to just pop it on with a brush or with your fingers. Your fingers are a great tool for these type of products as well because they don't soak up quite as much product as a sponge or a brush would. And I'm wearing the shade Kava, which is my favorite. I'm more of a gold girl than a, like a rosy toned person, so. Super pretty. These look so great at night, especially because they're so highlighty and lit from within that in photos, they just make you look so pretty. This concealer does leave me a little bit creasy. I don't know if you can tell. So I wanna try this new Huda Beauty powder. I don't typically subscribe to Huda. However, I've heard good things about her powders and this is a new pressed version and it's in the shade Cherry Blossom Cake. And I'm gonna use a little powder puff to apply this under the eyes. I've really been liking a pink powder under the eyes, which I've been using the one from Laura Mercier, the brightening one, but I would love one that is a little bit easier to travel with or put in my purse because I have the jumbo size of the Laura Mercier one. That's pretty. That is really pretty. This is a luminous powder and there is mica in it, so it does leave a little bit of a glowy finish, but it doesn't look like shiny or anything. I saw a video of someone saying like, it looks like that you have glitter under your eyes, but it doesn't. It's just like a nice natural finish to the skin, which I like. It's pretty. I can't decide for my eyes if I want to use like a brown all over the lid um, or if I want to do a winged eyeliner. I think I want to do a winged eyeliner. And when I do my wings, especially when I use like my fingernails to do my wings, I like to use a brown shade that is really emollient and easy to drag. And my current favorite has been from Persona Cosmetics, if I can find it. It's in the shade brown. <laughs> literally brown so all I do is take a larger section I think I have a short on this it actually went kind of viral uh, right on the outer corner of my eyes just like a large chunk of it and then I take my nail and I drag it up towards the tip of my eyebrow see that and it makes like the perfect wing people think that it's too uh, pointed up too high which it looks like it when my eye is closed. But when my eye is open, because I have such large eyes, it's the perfect wing. Um, I always say wherever the wing is going, it should lead to the outer edge of your eyebrow. So I just 
again, take a large chunk. I don't like to put it all the way through my eye and then I just take my finger and drag it out towards, and there you go. This is a super easy way to have a winged eyeliner without having to wear eyeliner all over your eyes. It's so easy and these are just creamy enough that you can still play with them before they dry down. And then obviously I have to go in with my tubing mascara. This is just the first iteration, but I love it. I can't use anything else. Sorry. So far I'm loving the direction that we're going. This is the saddest part though. This is, I've talked about this now a few times as well. This is the Ilia Eye Stylist Shadow Stick in Opulent. They were coming out with these and when I got my PR package of them, all of them were broken, including this one. They're, it's like smashed in there because multiple pieces had broken off of it. So I just keep it all the way rolled down all the time. This is the most perfect inner corner color and I've gotten a lot of questions about it, which typically I don't get asked about, what are you wearing on your inner corner? So that's how I know it's really good. Unfortunately, because it was breaking in transit, they are not gonna release it until 2024 because I think they're gonna try and change it, which kind of sucks because obviously I really like it the way it is, but I do think that it needs to be fixed so that it's not breaking. So hopefully they can find a way to get both in there. I think I need a little more blush. No, maybe, no, we'll keep it, we'll keep it, we'll keep it. I'm gonna use my Berry Freckle Pen, shake it up, get some ink down to the tip, and go cuckoo on the freckles. And I'm really, I've been focusing them really clustery across the bridge of my nose, and it's been so dainty and cute. My bangs are gonna have so much volume after this, it's gonna be nuts. And I've just been tapping them out kind of quickly and getting like a really, there's so many ways to use this, but a really, really natural look. And I like to go really light-handed with it. Like, look how cute that is. Are you kidding? And then I might take a few out by my eyes, but like mostly I've been keeping it right over the bridge. And I just, I love it. I love it, it's so cute. I have on the road lip treatment right now while I've been getting ready. I'm gonna take that off. And I have an idea for lips and I've actually not tried this yet, so we're gonna see how it is. But I'm gonna start with the Calligraphy Liner from Stila. It's in my favorite shade currently. It's in the shade Heady. I need more of this kind of product out there. Like a lip stain like this, it's so amazing. And I don't necessarily love this applicator. I find it to be kind of weird. I think it could be more simple. But basically I just do this. I take it along the lip line and I like this. I do that and then I take it in the middle. And they look bigger and better. And this will last. I've also been using my freckle pen as a lip liner and it's amazing. So the product I was talking about is new. This was also recommended to you to me from you. This is the new Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oils. I think I kept one of these in the declutter. I don't know where it is because I felt like when I swatched them, they all were essentially the same shade. They all came out to be like pretty clear. So when they came out with these, I was really interested because this is a more pigmented nude line. And immediately when I saw them, I wanted to buy every single shade. And then I thought, no, that's the whole reason you just decluttered. So I ended up only getting one and it is in the shade Blackberry Agave. And it's just very fall, very pretty, very pretty. That is super fall. I thought these kind of have a thinner consistency for a lip oil which I can appreciate but they don't last super long which you know it's a lip oil that's bound to happen this combo very very pretty super fall vibes I kind of want to add a little bit of a brown into my crease so I'm gonna use the shades from the Kosas undress palette I haven't tried this yet but uh, they're just straight up browns they're just pretty much boring ass browns which is right up my alley when I first saw this I was like yeah it doesn't excite me and it doesn't unexcite me it just is and that's sometimes what you need. I know that Patrick Cha just came out with one that is also all matte nudes, but something like this to me is a little bit easier. I used the, the shade Peak, which is this second shade here. And I'm just deepening the crease slightly to give it a little bit more. Va va boom. Pretty, very classic pretty. I like the makeup a lot. I'm gonna leave it like this. I think I might spray a little like cutting spray on here. I'm gonna use the milk setting spray because I want this to last. Actually, I'm gonna use the Cali Ray, the Cali Ray setting spray. That is a nice ass mist. That is a nice mist. Okay, so an outfit is drumming up in my head, but I really, I don't know. I kept this dress that I actually don't like very much, but I kept it because I like the bottom kind of peeking out. And I'm thinking, let's put an oversized sweater on top and have like a little skirt moment peeking out of the bottom. 
and have that be like a sweater weather moment, a little sweater weather moment. And then I'm thinking socks and mules. I don't know, I'll show you. I have these from H&M. They're just like a classic loafer. But then I also have, hey girls, my girls are home. I also have these flats slingbacks from Ghani and I haven't worn them yet. My husband says they look like witch shoes and he's right, but they're so cool. I love them so, so, so much. But also it is 83 degrees out. So I'm kind of worried about that angle because I'm like, I don't want to be hot, but we're eating inside. You see, there's so much going on here. I can't really figure out what to do. Okay, this was cute in theory, but it's not really as cute in practice because the bottom is covering the whole skirt because it's so big. So we're gonna have to scrap this idea. You can tell my girls are home because of the hashtag incessant squeaking, but I think I have something going here. I tried it on first, but it's this little button up top from Aritzia and I might button it up all the way just to be extra cute. Um, but then the skirt is, I believe, Abercrombie, H&M, H&M, American Eagle. I don't know, I'll link it down below. But it's a nice length, it's not too short. And I think I'm gonna wear it with socks and loafers. And then I'll bring a little jacket if I feel like I'm cold, but I feel like this is a good option where it's not too thick of a material and it still gives off the fall vibes, but it's 80 degrees out. We'll see on the shoes and now we need to talk about perfume. I'm craving something scent wise that's like a little fall nutty scent, which I have one on the way right now coming to me, but I don't have it yet. So I'm going to layer these two scents. This is Commodity Milk. It's just a really nice soft layering scent that has like a creamy smell. And then I'm gonna put replicas by the fireplace on top to add a little bit of those like warm notes to it. So I'm gonna start with three spritz and just kind of go like that. And then I'm gonna put replicas by the fireplace on top. And I think I'm just gonna do like one or two of this one because it can be a little stronger. And I personally like to put perfume on my clothes because I find that it lasts longer and I also don't like to go to bed having like a really strong scent on. So I prefer it to be on my clothes. Okay, I think we've got it. I think we've got it everybody. Here is Final outfit, I chose the Ghani flats with some little frilly socks from Aritzia. The skirt is indeed American Eagle. The top is also Aritzia, and then this is a little bag that I got myself in France when I was with Reed from Prada. And I love the makeup, I think it turned out so pretty. And I finally took my hair out of their holder. I can never get this side of my hair to get volume, but this side looks amazing, so. This was super fun, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I totally wanna do this for my get ready with me in the future, rather than just do the makeup, like let's talk about every little detail together. Let me know if you liked this style of video and we can definitely do more and I will see you in the next one soon. Bye.